Hi guys, it's your face here, and in this video, I'm gonna go through my whole cruise ship model collection. So stay tuned. So as you can see, if you look at the models, I've mostly been on Royal Caribbean. I've been on a few MSC, and these are the ships I've been on once: uh, Norwegian, Virgin Voyages, Celebrity, and PNL. And I'm going to go through each one right now as I find the interesting really model and it's one of the fun parts of cruising that I really enjoy. I have the GoPro here so I can get some nice close-ups and yeah, let's go through them all right now. So I'm going to start with the cruise ships I've been on once and I'm going to start with Pinot Britannia. Now this is a very popular ship in the UK as Pinot is one of the biggest UK cruise uh, companies and Britannia is one of the most popular ships. Uh, it's gonna. It's got the two funnels. It's got all the pores, the one at the back, and the ones in the retreat. So if I put it up to the GoPro, if you look, it's got the Union Jack just like it is on the cruise ship, and yeah, it's got the Britannia here or the lifeboat, and it is a really nice detailed model. I really like to have this one in the collection as it is a UK cruise company. Now the second one is Celebrity Eclipse. Now if you look at the older models, they're not as detailed as some of the newer ones and so this one if you've ever been on a celebrity eclipse or celebrity silhouette class their thing is that they have grass on top of their cruise ships so if i put up to here this is the grass that they have it's called like the lawn can't remember it's actually the name um and yeah it's just got the uh, blue port and it's got the indoor port really basic model but again nice details it's a cool to have a celebrity one in the collection and that is the celebrity eclipse now my most recent model to the collection and it's Virgin Voyager's Valiant Lady. Now obviously as you see with all the cruise ships in front of you, they're all mainly white apart from these which they are white in real life but that's just the model. But Virgin Voyagers go for this grey colour and it really makes the red pop out which is really nice as it, Virgin Voyagers is. Um, Virgin is red, like that's their colour. Uh, so not much detail on the top as it is all grey, I'll put it up to the camera. As you can see, it is all just grey, no blue for pool or the water, and it's got no, and the net's not much detailed, which is a big thing for them as well. But it's a really detailed model with all the balconies and all the lifeboats, which they've all got red, and the Virgin Voyages, and on the back, they have the Virgin thing at the back as well. It's a really cool model to have, and also, which is a little um, Easter egg or something that not many people will know about, I think, is that so on Virgin Voyages they have a different mermaid for every ship. So Scarlet Lady, Van Lady, Resilient Lady, and Brilliant Lady will all have a different mermaid. And only on this model they have three models: a glass one, one that's red that says Ahoy, and this this one I've got in my hands right now. And only on this one the will they have the mermaid and each model will have a different mermaid depending on obviously there's one for every ship and it will be the one that is on the ship i just thought it's a really cool thing for them to add and it really makes the model unique to that cruise line or cruise ship then i have norwegian escape again this is a really cool detailed model with the water slides uh then it gets a bit just like gray there is a climbing area here which they haven't really added i think they've tried uh, and then the back outdoor um, cinema. But what's really cool about this is it actually has all the details of, because Norwegian, if you know Norwegian, they are very popular with their hull designs. As you can see, it's got it all the way across to the back of the ship and all the way on the other side. And I think this is really cool to have it so detailed. And yeah, the this this one this water side was the best one. This one wasn't open, which was annoying. But I was only on there for one night. So now I'm going to get into the MSC cruise models, and these ones are really interesting. So I've only ever been on a Mega Villa class, and I've been on Bellissima, uh, which is one of the original Mega Villa uh, classes, and I've been on Grandiosa and Virtuosa, which are the Mega Villa Plus. And I find it really interesting that. They have the, the models are so detailed to so even the length of the ships. So I've got here the Bellissima, which is the um, original Mega Villa um, design. And here I got, which was this one? I got Grandiosa. So if I put them up to the GoPro, you can instantly see can you see the different size in the pool? These pools right here. 
and this one over here, don't want to drop them. Um, yeah, this different size because that's one of the um, option, one of the differences between the ships. And also, can you see the hot tubs? The hot tub is now like this, like semi-circle kind of shape, and this was a circle. So it's the way that they've just gone even to the detail of the of like the jacuzzis and the pores, just so it is. And even I've put them up next to each other, and the lengths are different, which is I think it's such a cool little detail by MSC. And so yeah, if I put this up to these ones are all grey, so not much detail. They are you can see like all the balconies, and they got all the the um, water slides, and yeah, they got the blue for the um, funnel, which MSC have on all their ships. And like the thing is like this one's silver, this one's blue, this one's blue, and there's something else different, but. Yeah, they, they, they're all basically the same as they are the same sh ship, basically. Apart from, yeah, I just thought it was really cool that they have different pool sizes for the different ships. Which, I love detail on the cruise models, and they really have gone extra just to get that little extra thing that they changed. Now, I'm moving on to Adventure and Navigator of the Seas. Um, and this is what I mean by, so this one I got in 2013, and this one I got in, uh, when did I go on Adventure? Navigator, uh, 2017. Um, Navigator is the only one I didn't buy on a cruise ship because they were sold out. So I don't know what, actually when this one came out, but they are basically identical apart from a little like color. And this was really, really light. And this was really heavy. So yeah, as you can see, they're just green on top. They are a bit broken. I didn't really get these when I was a kid. So I didn't look after them as good as I do now with my models. So, yeah, and it's a bit of like a beigey colour, and this was just really light, which is different. Um, so yeah, they're basically identical with the greens on top, so it doesn't show much detail. And now I'm going to move on to, I, own, I have two independence models, one for the pre-upgrades to the um, new version of Independence Seas and Independence 2.0, which was a really cool model to get, because they have really put in a lot of detail to this one. So I'm going to show you the original Independence of the Seas first. So this one I got on, I actually had one but it broke so I don't know, I've been, this is the ship I've sailed on the most, uh, 10 times and yeah. So this one I got in 2014. So it's like one of the early models uh, and it's really detailed. This is one that is actually really detailed because actually fun fact that I did find out a few years. So on Adventure of the Seas, I bought a top with every single logo, or every single cruise ship on Royal Caribbean, but Independence wasn't there because Independence was actually um, using a different shopping like supplier. Hence why their models are a bit different to like, what Navigator was. It might just be a coincidence, but I just thought it was quite interesting. Um, hence why it wasn't on the top, because it wasn't actually used. Which is a weird little fact. Um, so yeah, this got the pause, the h zone, the mini golf where it used to be, flow rider, sports court, it got a little grey rock, rock wall right there, and then the running track that goes all the way around. And then, and then it also has all the, like the balconies. So it's a really detailed model. So then I'm going to get to Independence 2.0, where they completely gutted the ship basically, and redid most of it. This one is one of the most detailed models I've seen on a cruise ship. Um, they got that. They got now the Splashway Bay, which they replaced the H2O zone. They now moved the mini golf to the front of the ship and added rooms here, which I have got a room tour if you want to check that out. It is on my channel, and the running track is now just here compared to where it was on this one, all the way around the top of the deck. Uh, then they also added water slides at the back and the sky pad, which I'm still not sure on. I'm going to have to go and try it on the like, cruise ship. The rock wall, flow rider, and those, um, like, that play area thing. I can't remember the name of it. But yeah, this is just a really detailed model. It's really cool to get my hands on the new upgraded Independence of the Seas. Because I went on four cruises that year, it got upgraded, and I only ever got hold of... Uh, they only sold it on one of my cruises, the rest of the time it was sold out. Now I'm going to move on to Anthem of the Seas, a cruise I'm on this year, so stay tuned. I'm going to do a ship tour, room tours, or review, all that you, all the standards, and 
put down in any comments below if you want me to add any more content because I am on this ship for 12 days so I have time to do lots of videos for you guys and this one's a really cool ship so this is like one of the brand new classes when it came out um, and yeah this was the new thing the smart ships and uh, with this North Star this North Star actually does remove um, and then if you go up you even see GG the giraffe and I assume I haven't been on any of the other quantum class so I can't tell you but I would assume that will be comparing to every other one and change depending on what ship it is hence the pandas I can't remember what was on the first one but I remember there's pandas on one of them um, yeah and actually weighs three mini coopers fun fact um, you've got a flow rider the sky simulator skydiving simulator the north star which is just a really cool feature that takes you to the highest point and it does hang you over the side of the ship like that that's what it would do let me get like that yeah um i'm looking forward to do that i did actually hang over the ship when i did it so i'm looking forward to go and actually go and do a proper one and then the it has the things for the um sky um oh what's it called cplex there you go cplex um, where they do the roller skating, bumper cars, and football, and basketball. And yeah, this was really detailed, and this is when they finally changed to the blue hull, and they started painting the bottom of the ship's blue. So that's Anthem of the Seas, I'm looking forward to go back on board. And now we get to the big, some of the biggest cruise ships in the world, number two and number three. Now we're going to start with Highway of the Seas, which was the first... Wasted class that I went on, um, and I literally I was on its maiden voyage from Southampton to Barcelona, and these sh these ships just wow me. The Wasted class, they really do, and I can't wait to go on one that I keep mentioning it, but the ships are amazing, and I'm looking forward to see Wanda. Um, and also this is what I mean about a bit of detail, like MSC, like they went into really big detail. But this ship was the um, first one where they added the ultimate abyss, the water slides, and they even extended the solarium down to here. Um, and they haven't added it onto this model. I've seen the Wonder one, and they have, they have added it as it's now a new, complete, different thing, really, with the um, indoor solarium. Uh, so yeah, this was what it was like on the Wastes and the Law. Not now, but it was. Um, so it's a bit disappointing that they didn't just add something there, just to make it look completely like the ship. Uh, then they have all the pools, the Splashway Bay, the normal pool, was that the sports pool, normal pool, and the beach pool, they have the um, then the sports core area, mini golf, the two flow riders, and the ultimate abyss, which is just it's just a really cool model. Just have a look. And in Central Park, and you can actually see the internal bits of the ship. It's when you can really see the different sizes compared to it. And then the boardwalk here with the carousel. You can see that little carousel right there. Um, oh, let me try and get. I'm trying to get the angle right. There we go. Yeah, it's just a really cool model, and yeah, just a little detailed. Um, that would be just makes it a bit more authentic. Now I've got the the second largest cruise ship in the world, Symphony of the Seas, and again this cruise ship came. So that one came out in 2016. This came out in 2018, and they still didn't change the front of the ship. It's not the end of the world. But it was just a bit like the MSC went into the difference of the length of pause. So it was just a bit of just a critique. Is that, what was, is that the word? I'm not sure. Um, constructive criticism. That's it. Um, so yeah, they got the, again, just the water slides. Put up to the camera. They got the water slides, the perfect storm, the bowl, and the two racers. Splashway Bay, the nor the sports pool, normal pool, beach pool. It's basically it's identical, just with Symphony of the Seas on it. It's got the Osprey Bass, the logo, the Aqua Theatre, um, and the Central Park. Really identical because they are basically the same. And yeah, these are the no, those are my cruise ship models. Um, I'm adding Iona this year, and but I will do a separate video, and I'll probably add it in my news when I do get it, and I'm getting Wonder as well this year. Uh, my favourite model is probably Independence of the Seas, the um, 2.0, because of the detail that went into that one, because it looks just really cool. Um, 
And yeah, that's my Crucian model collection. If you like what you see, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. And it would be very much appreciated. I'm so close to that 500 subs. Uh, and yeah, it's been Chip Based here. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.